this is、um, an unusual and unique episode because it's a personal log of birds that he shot while being、uh, in Langkawi for registration Lilliput. Before his departure, I hugged him and、uh, put into his pocket a camera and、uh, made him to promise to shoot everything what he will find interesting. And I was very excited to see what、uh, he will bring to me. So, let's see. It's. Look at my face. It's early morning. It's it's five thirty a.m. and Bert just left for a sailing trip to Malaysia to register boat and make all this paperwork. I didn't go because I have things to care here on the island. I'm kind of upset that he will have his first night on the boat without me. But. When I shared with him these feelings, he told me that, "Oh my God, I was in love with him again." He told me that he would love to have our first night in our home, in a decent, in a perfect conditions after everything repairs will be done, in a beautiful place with a bottle of wine. Of course, after this word, I couldn't be upset anymore. Love my man. So yeah, I'm worried, of course, but I think everything will be good, and it will not take half a month. I hope it will take less time, and he will be home in one week, as the shortest. It. Took actually longer than expected, three full weeks. Hi guys, June twenty first, twenty nineteen, my first day as a boat owner. Yeah, I took over the boat a few hours ago. Go through all the things they left me. At the moment, it's a very strange feeling. If I see this boat, I can't believe it. And、uh, I just look on this boat and think, "Fuck! I own a boat. That's unbelievable." What we started many, many months ago finally found the end. Yesterday, we signed、uh, the bill of sale, and、um, yeah, now we will soon start the process of、uh, ownership transfer and、uh, deregistration and new registration under a new name,、uh, under my name. And、uh, yeah, I hope everything will go well. What you see behind me is wagon number five. I cleaned out of the boat、uh, just today, and there is a lot of more stuff to go through. So for today, it's done.、Uh, I'm exhausted. We'll go now for shopping, buy a few groceries, and then. I think、uh, I will fall very early to bed. By the way, here we go. This is my new boat. I'm just back from shopping, bought a few things, and now I bring back a little bit more garbage and、uh, the wagon, and then I will try to find some Wi-Fi. Communicate、uh, with the agents and、uh, finish the registration process, or at least give the order. So it seems like soon it will rain again. It will coming there. You can see it. So I have to hurry.、Uh, see you later. Good morning, guys. First morning 
uh, after the first night on the boat. I uh, couldn't get much sleep, uh, everything was different than usually and uh, we got a lot of wind and a lot of rain in the middle of the night so I had to stand up and check everything uh, that everything is working out and uh, the boat cannot drift somewhere and uh, all the ropes uh, hold. The plan for today is to try to go on with the agents for the registration process which is a little bit tricky, it takes a lot of time, I speak with the agents and I hope that I will find the right one. The de registration process uh, will start today. Yesterday DHL was closed unfortunately and uh, I hope that the owner will send the documents today and uh, as soon as, as I get some response back from Australia that the boat is deregistered I can start with the register process, changing the name and uh, apply for the MMSI number and all of this paperwork that I can leave legally the country of Malaysia and go back to Phuket. After two days of rain, today the first day with uh, quite good weather and direct it's getting really really hot. So I just was shopping and uh, bought some pieces to organize the things I uh, have left. Uh, I threw I don't know, half a dozen of bags just today. At the moment I'm just sorting out uh, tools and spare parts, screws and electronical stuff. I throw a lot of rusty stuff, uh, you can't believe and guys I don't want to show you. So this is what I'm doing at the moment. Some people say I'm a control freak. I'd say I'm only organized. Today, day six, seven, I don't know anymore. Yeah, here my office. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Uh, everything is dirty, really dirty. I have a feeling that the last years nothing happened here, they just use it, uh, the former uh, user uh, or owner. And so yeah, there's a lot of things to do, but on the contrary, I'm busted here because I'm waiting for my registration papers, which can take uh, another two weeks. So I just use the time and do the best I can do. So someone came today in the morning and picked up the outboard engine for doing some service. And I took the opportunity to clean a little bit the dinghy. As you can hear, I'm not the only one who is working and my next project will be cleaning the tank. Let's see how it will work out. 10 minutes of scrubbing later. Already a bit better, but I'm not satisfied, so I will give it another 10 minutes. And by the way, this kind of tank, only this small little tank costs around about $180. So I will try to give it another shot and uh, use it as long as it's possible. Well, I cleaned the gasoline canister today. Uh, they were really dirty. Looks already a little bit better. And at the moment, uh, I just clean here the back, uh, there's some interesting green stuff. I hope I can get rid of it. When plastic is not working, upgrade. Hmm, I think I find the right tool for this. How you guys know, I'm alone here in uh, Langkawi, Malaysia, taking over the boat, doing all the registration stuff. Elena, every day when I speak to her on the phone, tell me, please shoot what you're doing. But most time I'm just uh, kind of frustrated because everything is so dirty and uh, my whole day I just spend in cleaning and fixing things, which on the contrary is nice. And uh, to be honest, uh, I really somehow enjoy the feeling to build our new home or to clean and uh, refit our new home. Uh, that we can soon start in our adventure, living the liveaboard life. So yeah, uh, I shoot a little bit, um, but what you see is just really a little, little bit um, because there are thousand things to clean and uh, 
step by step I will go through all of the things and uh, but that you get a little bit uh, uh, imagination what uh, I'm doing here what happens here on the boat um, yeah I will shoot a few things and I hope you enjoy it yes yes please I'm just on my way to Kua town, which is around about 3-4 kilometers from the marina. Project for today, find something to eat, find an ATM machine to get some money to pay. Uh, I need some paint. Last night I cleaned the bathroom and I want to give it a paint job. And uh, also I have some spare parts I want to replace and try to find a shop I can buy them. I have no idea, but let's see how it will work out. People say having a boat is extreme expensive. After a few days, I can say, uh, yeah, it's expensive in money, but it's also expensive in time. In general, everything looks uh, not that wild. But after you start with a project, you figure that it just takes you time and this and this and this. And uh, after short time, hours uh, were gone because fixing a boat, this project is really huge and I don't see an end at all. All the time some new things pop up, but I'm still quite motivated because I'm looking forward for our new lifestyle and so, yeah, this keeps me going. Seems like I found my restaurant for today. Welcome from our tiny little bathroom, which I cleaned the last few days. So what you will see now is after cleaning. So maybe you can imagine how it uh, looked before I start cleaning it up. Have you ever built up an IKEA wardrobe completely alone? So then you know how I feel now. Welcome new shower. Shiny new $10 made in China product. I have just opened the hatch here behind its diesel tank. 250 liters. Normally here is a bat, uh, but I throw away everything and uh, now we have access to the diesel tank. Uh, a guy named Kumar was uh, here just a few minutes ago. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock he will come to clean the diesel tank because we had some problems on the way here to Lankawi. Uh, the previous owner told me that since 12 years this tank was never cleaned. So there are some particles and uh, we helped us to pump gas from the gas cylinder, which is actually for cooking, through the pipe back to the tank that uh, the particles who block the hose uh, and the engine don't get any diesel uh, get cleaned. And so it worked, but just for a while. Yeah, I just got my first little shock as a boat owner. Um, the guys who tried to clean the tank just told me that it's impossible to clean it. Because the diesel and uh, the fiberglass somehow work in a chemical reaction and uh, the tank corrodes or is corroded, yeah, uh, it needs to be replaced. So they just can clean it as good as possible that uh, I will make it back to Phuket. Hi, my next mission is getting some diesel for my way back to Phuket here from Langkawi. Um, actually everything is finished, papers are done and tomorrow I plan to leave going back. The wind, uh, yeah actually there's no wind, uh, at least the forecast says it. So I will need some more diesel and this is the mission now, go and take it. So here I am at the gasoline station, refill for diesel, so it seems to work out. Good early morning, 
Uh, actually, I wanted to start one and a half hour ago already back to Phuket, but guess what? My engine don't start. At least one starts, the other one don't. So I had to find someone who will help me. Um, I hope this person will come in the next hour and uh, then maybe I still can make my first lap, um, which is planned today because it's just uh, around about 25 miles to go. So yeah, let's see how it's working out and I hope I can leave because actually I checked out already and I have to leave the country. So yeah, we'll see. I'm on the road to the first lap of my three days trip back to Phuket. Finally, I could find someone who could uh, start the engine. So I really, really, really hope that it's working now for the next three days at least before the boat goes to the checkup and the refit. Wednesday afternoon, I just made it to my first step. Uh, engine worked out, so I'm here now in a bay still close to Langkawi, or actually a Langkawi. I will go swimming later, and then I will clean the boat a little bit because I have a feeling that from the algae after two weeks in the marina the speed of the boat is not really nice so tomorrow I have a long lap to make and I need all my speed so uh, yeah um, now here at anchor in this nice bay and it's quite good protected from wind and wave so I hope I will have a Silent night, can sleep a little bit. It's round about noon on my second day from Langkabi back to Phuket. I almost made round about half the way. Two times my starboard side engine stopped, I had to restart it, uh, refill some diesel in the diesel filter. A uh, little trick a guy showed me. It helped, so I could restart the engine. At the moment I make run about uh, 6 knots and uh, with this speed I should arrive run about 7 at uh, Koh Rock. Here in the back you can see Langkawi, where I left today in the morning. Yesterday I made it around the island on this side and uh, so I can head direct back uh, to Thailand Phuket. Good morning from Koh Rock, Thailand. It's run about uh, 5.30, uh, quite bright already. For today the same because I have run about 70 miles to go. Uh, today and uh, now I just give you a quick view on Korok which is really beautiful clean water nice beaches say our last phrase if you like it subscribe to it and do not miss the next episode. And remember, your support motivates us to go and... Right. <laughs>